The Bible says the tabernacle was a scale model of heaven. Approaching the courtyard from the north, west, or south, you would see nothing but white linen. The height, we are told in Exodus 27:18, was five cubits, or about seven and a half feet. What a picture of the fact that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, Romans 3:23. No one measures up. We can't even come up to our own standards, let alone God's. There was no peeking for curious gawkers. If you wanted to see in, you had to go in. And this is the way it was with Christ's offer of salvation. The world says, if I see it, I'll believe it. But the Lord Jesus said, he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, John 3, 36. And did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Chapter 11, verse 40. Faith isn't blind. It's unbelief that's blind. With belief, it's simply a matter of order. As Augustine of Hippo wrote, faith is to believe what you do not see. The reward of faith is to see what you believe. On the north and south, the courtyard was, quote, 100 cubits long with its 20 pillars and their 20 sockets of bronze and the hooks of the pillars and their bands of silver. Exodus 27, 9 to 11. On the west, it was 50 cubits wide, quote, with their 10 pillars and their 10 sockets, verse 12. However, on the sunrise side, the middle of the east wall had an entrance, quote, for the gate of the court, there shall be a screen 20 cubits long, woven of blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine woven linen. It shall have four pillars, and four sockets, verse 16. Thus, quote, the hangings on each side of the gate shall be 15 cubits with their three pillars and their three sockets, verse 14. The Bible calls its pictorial details by the word types. A type isn't simply an apparent likeness, but a one-to-one -one correspondence intended by the author. We'll think of this later, but we need to know at this point that silver was linked with redemption and bronze with judgment. The pillar's bases aren't redemption silver, but judgment bronze. But at the top was a band of silver. The Hebrew word is kashak, meaning set in love. Both God's righteous judgment and his gracious redemption are found in Christ, quote, for he made him Christ who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Second Corinthians five, verse 21. The white linen walls pictured God's righteous standard as expressed in the law. But if a man followed the linen around, eventually he'd come to the door. Quote, the law was our tutor to bring us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. Galatians 3.24. Yes, God offers salvation to those whose way seems barred by his judgments against sin. But his salvation in Christ doesn't ignore our sins. They are paid in full when we personally accept the death of the Lord Jesus as the perfect substitute for us. God won't sneak us in the back door of heaven. There is a way in, and we notice there's only one. Jesus said, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved, John 10, 9. He also said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, John 14, 6. The gate was closed, but not barred. Each one must choose to enter. How beautiful the door is. May I suggest the blue reminds us that Christ satisfies heaven's righteous demands, the scarlet that he met our needs by his blood, and the purple that our kinsman has linked us forever with God. But it isn't just beautiful, it's wide. 
35 feet wide, wide enough for whosoever will. Revelation 22, 17.